Hi friend, welcome to Zio Enter. This is again time to share one more video with you. So today I am going to share a video which is based on the determination of specific gravity. How specific gravity is determined? So before this start, I want to tell you what is specific gravity. So specific gravity is nothing but the ratio of density. So it is a simple number which represents the ratio of weight of a mineral to the weight of an equal volume of water. Thus a mineral with specific gravity 4. If any mineral specific gravity is 4, 5, 6 like that, it means that it is 4 times or 5 times or 6 times greater than that of the that is heavier than that water. So this is regarding the specific gravity. The specific gravity of silicate mineral generally near about 2.65. If ore minerals are there, then the specific gravity from 4.52 up to the 10. A rough estimate of the specific gravity it is uh, determined on the basis of the uh, by lifting a particular mineral in hand. In this way we can determine a specific gravity uh, of a particular mineral. But this method is not accurate or not scientifically uh, accurate one. So if we want to calculate the specific gravity of mineral then the common methods of determining specific gravity of solids are based on the fact that the loss of weight of a body when it immerses into the water is the weight of an equal volume of water. There is a formula specific gravity is equal to capital W1 divided by W1 minus W2. If W1 is the weight of the mineral in air and W2 is its weight in water. So its specific gravity will be as under uh, like a formula as I have already told you that is a specific gravity is equal to W1 divided by W1 minus W2. So when we uh, keep values in this equation then we will get the specific gravity of any mineral. So now there are two instruments basically which are particularly used to determine the specific gravity. So there are two instruments basically used to determine the specific gravity. So one is the Walker's steel yard and second one is the that is the Jolly's spring balance. These two instruments are basically used to determine the specific gravity of a particular mineral. So now we will see what is Walker's steel yard. So Walker steel, steel yard, it is instrument which is mainly used to determine the specific gravity of comparative, comparatively large minerals, specimens. These instruments consist of graduated long horizontal beam of a steel which is supported near one end of a knife. Edge as shown in my side figure, how the Walker steel yard uh, uh, looks like. At the end of longer arm, a vertical post is placed. It bears an index mark which helps in aligning the beam of the horizontal position. So the mineral specimen whose specific gravity is to be determined is suspended by a very thin nylon uh, thread from the longer arm. It is moved along the graduated arm so as to bring to the end of the arm opposite to the fixed index. Mark and the position of the specimens on the arm is noted. Let us assume that the reading is A. Now the specimen is submerged under water. This is done by placing a beaker filled with water below the specimen. This will disturb the balance. The specimen is then moved away from the from the full derm under the beam again comes opposite the index mark. Let us assume that the new reading is now B. The specific gravity of mineral is calculated as follows. Specific gravity is equal to so is equal to B divided by B minus A. So it may be noted that there is a a counter weight on the shorter arm 
this weight can be shifted from one notch to the another on this arm but it must remain in the same notch during any experiment or any one experiment so this is regarding the walker's steel yard now the second instrument that is called as a jolly's spring balance in jolly's spring balance the specific gravity of a small fragments of mineral is determined is determined by the this jolly spring balance so the instrument consists of weak spring suspended weak spring suspended vertically against graduated mirror scale two pans one below the other as shown in my side figure attached to the lower end of the spring the lower pan is always immersed into the water the initial reading a of the pointer on the scale is taken without putting anything on the pans a small piece of mineral whose specific gravity is to be determined is placed on the upper pan and the second reading b is taken the specimen is then transferred to the lower pan and the third reading c is calculated or c is noted the specific gravity of the mineral is uh, determined as uh, according to the equation that is the uh, uh, specific gravity is equal to b minus a divided by b minus c so when we calculate this one we will get the specific gravity so specific gravity is a unitless quantity because it is nothing but the ratio of density suppose the formula of density is equal to mass by volume and the unit of this density is gram per cubic centimeter suppose any mineral having specific gravity is 2 or uh, any mineral having uh, density is 2 gram per cc when we calculate the specific gravity of that particular mineral it means that 2 divided by 1 and unit is common gram per cc unit will be cancelled and specific gravity is 2 so therefore you need uh, specific gravity is unitless so i think this uh, two instruments are generally used to determine the specific gravity so i hope this video is useful to you if you like my video share and subscribe my youtube channel that is zero entire all about the earth